My name is Marcus Porter, and this is my Dodge Ram 2018 Rebel. I'm gonna take you around the truck. All right, here we go, guys. Just playing with y'all. <laughs> hey, man. Um, guess what, man? I got me a new truck. I'm pretty excited about this truck. Actually, my favorite truck was a a, 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 a Silverado, a Chevy Silverado Z71. I always wanted that truck, man. But I've been debating between a Dodge Ram. I've been looking at Toyota Tundras, and it wasn't when I, and it wasn't until I went to Dallas to kind of see my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Easy, you know, Eric, shout out to Emil. He recently got him a Dodge, Dodge Ram. And so um, I'll wait for this plane to go by. I'll wait. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, fam. Don't mind me. The audio, man. I didn't really was uh, sold on the Dodge Ram until I saw my brother in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, man, my boy Easy. He recently got him a truck. And when I sat in his Dodge Ram, man, I was like, man, this thing is smooth, man. You know, he has this like military green, dark green Dodge Ram, real nice, real smooth, a lot of luxury, like bells and whistles inside. I can't remember what edition or type of truck he had. I think it was a Ram Rebel or somewhere in that, in that, in that ballpark. But he gave me the keys one day and told me to drive it. Drove it around, me and the wife got in there, and I loved it, man, I loved it, man. And it's a smooth ride, and so I started looking about six months later, and I came across this bad boy right here, man. So let's take a look at this truck and why I got this truck. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I don't know too much about this truck. <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend that I know what type of tires on here, even though they're a long fiend tires. We got some shocks on there. I don't know if it's stock or whatever. The guy told me it wasn't. I don't know, man, but you know, it's got some stock, maybe some stock or something, something lifted on there. It's a 5.7 Hemi, as y'all can see, 1500. The thing with this truck is, is I'm, I'm trying to do camping. I'm trying to go overlanding, just a little bit of off-road. And so uh, the goal with this truck is to, um, what? You gonna follow me, Corey? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but you can zoom out, zoom in. It's a wide lens. Yeah. But yeah, man. So the purpose of this truck is like I was telling you guys to go camping, overlanding, off-roading. And the goal is to put some bed racks on the back of the truck bed. And when I put these racks on here, um, I'm gonna put a rooftop tent, you know, a camping tent on top of the racks. And it's gonna kind of open up. It's gonna be a clam shell tent where it opens up like this and you can sleep like two to four people inside that tent when we go camping so when we camp we don't have to camp on the ground if we choose not to we can just camp on top of the truck the other goal if you come around to the back of the truck um, you'll see a lot of stuff in here but the, the goal hopefully is to put a deck system and a deck system on the bottom which it'll be like this big box that will take up the whole bottom of this truck and it'll be two drawers on each side where you can pull them out and you can kind of store all this stuff in those drawers. And so that's the goal is to have that deck system, to have that bed rack with the tent on top. So that way when we travel to the different national parks or you know, go camping or off-roading, overlanding, we'll have some, some tools and equipment with us. So I'm really loving this truck. The only downfall to this truck, you know, if anybody drives a truck, you know this, gas mileage sucks like crap, bro. And with this truck, I'm averaging around 14 to 15 miles per gallon. And you know, that's that's a little new to me. Um, I spend about, um, it takes about 80, $85 to fill up the tank. And so what I do is, is I don't let it get on E. I kind of fill it up right when it's uh, halfway, a little bit below half. And I put a roughly like $50 in there pretty much every week, you know, if I'm just driving around town. But it does burn gas but I love the truck, it's real fun to drive and it's very comfortable, very roomy. And I'll just show you a little bit on the inside of the truck. Got some ram mounts up here. These ram mounts will put my phone up here. I'm trying to put some type of mounts there so that way I can put my GoPro there or you know, camera there or my walkie talkies up there or whatnot. Got some compartments here where I can store some stuff here 
got some more compartments so I can store even some more stuff down there. Very cool seats with the Rebel embroidery on there. Here's the back of the truck, you know, and you know, I got kind of got my camera bag right here, cooler in the back. These seats let up, and you can store stuff under there, or you can just leave them up if you want to get like some extra stuff in here. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Nice little armrest with two cup holders. Man, I'm really loving this truck, man. It's real nice. I actually traded in my wife's car and um, got this truck. And as you may not know, um, I had a Lexus. I do have a Lexus, and so we decided to keep the Lexus, trade in a Mazda 6 to get this truck. And then I gave Courtney the Lexus, and the Lexus is real smooth. So hopefully you'll get to see a video on that soon. So. Hey, this is the truck here. And if you guys are Dodge Ram owners or you guys camp or overland, hit up your boy. We'd love to link up with you and your family or we can do some solo trips. So I'll see you guys out there. See you on the next video. Peace out.